it turns out Maya has a pretty broken glitch too. Uh, for those who missed it recently, I posted a video for Gage where she's invincible and has insane damage over time and whatnot. If you missed that glitch video, I will link it in the description below and you guys can, you know, check it out. Turns out this glitch also works on Maya and we tested all the other Vault Hunters and we couldn't find any other way to do it, but Maya and Gage can both do the amazing new glitch. First off, I do want to give a huge thanks to Filthy Eagle for finding the glitch on Gage. And I want to thank you guys in the comments for testing out the other characters and finding out a way to do it for Maya. So thank you for that time and effort, guys. Alright, so what does the glitch do for Maya? She now has insane reload speed and cannot die, and when she stands near enemies, they will just melt away. Yeah, it's pretty busted. Similar to Gage, we have to use the uh, Shock and Awe Nova to kill a car to get a fake kill skill. Turns out that Backdraft, when you break your shield, you get a Fire Nova. That Nova counts as a fake kill skill too for vehicles. Uh, you know, cars, turrets, anything like that. And unfortunately, all the other characters don't have this kind of Nova kill. We tried Accident's nuke skill and a bunch of other things and nothing worked. So at the moment, the glitch only works for Maya and Gage. So how does the glitch work? Well, when you kill a vehicle with Backdraft, you get a fake kill skill and that will activate all of your kill skills. Uh, indefinitely, yeah. So all four of Maya's kill skills will have infinite duration and you will, like I said, never die, have insane reload, shield regen, all that kind of stuff. And it is a very, very useful glitch. Starting off, you have infinite duration for kinetic reflection, so you can always reflect the bullets back at the enemies. Now, with the glitch, you can stack it infinitely, but the issue with that is if you stack way too many stacks, then the game will start hitching and, you know, dropping frames. For Gage, you can stack around a thousand stacks before your game starts lagging, but for Maya, you can only do about, like, 30. Either way, you will still be insane, I promise. Also, with kinetic reflection, even if you stack it, you know, 30 times, you will not have the deflected bullet damage stack up to, like, you know, a bajillion percent. Um, it seems it has a hard cap, so enemies will not, you know, shoot you once and reflect, you know, infinite damage back. But there is some pretty cool stuff we can do with it, so stay tuned, I will show you that in a second. As for inertia, your shield's gonna regen instantly, and your reload speed's gonna be instant. You won't even see yourself reload, it's gonna be that fast. So that's gonna be really cool to stack up. Now, this one's a little bit of a problem. You can spec in a life tap and have, you know, instant healing, so you will actually be invincible. The issue is, this skill actually plays a little sound when you activate it, so when you stack that a lot, uh, it will be game-breaking audio. Uh, here's a clip of it now. Yeah, so you can spec it and, you know, have infinite health regen, but honestly, inertia with the shield regen is enough for not dying. So if you don't want to go deaf, either turn off your sounds or only stack a few stacks. Don't, you know, overdo it. And finally, for the kill skills, we have Blight Phoenix, so when you stand near an enemy, that will take fire and corrosive damage. By having around 30 stacks, you can stand by any mob on OP10 and insta-kill them. But for raid bossing, you cannot stack it enough for insta-killing because your game will start hitching and lagging really bad. Like I said, we need a fake kill skill from a vehicle, so the easiest way to activate Backdraft, you know, really fast is going to be a level 60 slow hand and a level 50 uh, Bandit Bandit Malawan Transformer. Uh, it's a very specific combo if you want to stack really, really fast, but uh, you can legit wear any shield, it doesn't really matter, but you have to wait for the shield to recharge each time. But with the Transformer and a Shock Slow Hand, you can shoot the floor, break your shield, and regen it right away. Now, Backdraft is a little bit flashy, so if you are epileptic, you might want to, you know, look away. Uh, but we're going to shoot the floor, and we're going to get the fake kill skill by backdrafting the cars. There we go. Uh, looks like we got a kill skill at the bottom there, which is not what you want. If you did it right, you will see no kill skills at the bottom because you got a fake kill skill. We might have got one of the cars to count. Let's see if we can stand here and do damage over time. Aha, we did. So you can see there we have, um, what is it, Blight Phoenix going off infinitely. And also we have one stack of inertia for reloading a little bit faster, have the instant shield regen, and that's pretty nice. But this is only one of the ways you can stack it. The best way is going to be in the Scarlet DLC. So we're going to head off to Magnus Lighthouse and go to the fake turret. All right, here we are on the map, all the way at the end of it, and you're going to find a button right here. We're going to click that. And this turret over here is part of a bar challenge, but we're going to be using it for this glitch. Uh, the cool thing about this turret is when you shoot it, it will actually break and then also regenerate automatically. So you can use it to get many, many stacks really fast. All right, we're going to sit a little bit back here and go ahead and activate Backdraft again. And that time, you can see we did not get a kill skill at the bottom of the screen, but we did kill the turret and get a big kill skill stack. If you want to test, you can throw a grenade at the floor and check your shield regen or, you know, shoot and reload. Yeah, instant shield regen. And our reload's pretty crazy. And we only have, what, like four stacks? Okay, I only have like 20 stacks now and you can see my reload. Aha, uh -huh. <laughs> it's pretty dumb. Poor Axton. Maya now has better reload than you. Like, this is actually insane. It feels like cheating in a way. I mean, it is a glitch. Before we check out the combat, I do want to say that this glitch can randomly reset. I was told that by the comment section on the previous gauge video. Just keep that in mind. Also, if you save quit or jump in a vehicle and jump out, uh, the glitch goes away too. All right, now for the loaders, check this out. Yeah, they just kind of died. Hmm. 
Also, you can see the game hitch a little bit. You can see some frame dropping happening. Yeah, Blight Phoenix will really derp out and mess with your frame rate. But as long as you don't stack way too many stacks, you're going to be fine. And again, this is OP10, the hardest content in the game. And this glitch is just, you know, making it feel like normal mode. Pretty cool. All right, now for the most insane thing with this glitch. We always have kinetic reflection, right? So we always have a guaranteed chance to reflect bullets back if you get, you know, ricocheted. So if you put on the antagonist and fight Hyperius, uh, on OP10, this guy has glitched double HP. This farm is actually even easier than Salvador. Check it out. It's, it's pretty much guaranteed. So grab a shotgun, walk up to him, shoot a couple times, and he's dead. Yeah. You don't have to rely on getting lucky with the antagonist chain. It's going to happen guaranteed because of uh, the kinetic reflection. And that antagonist damage will build up and go for the insta-kill. It is fail-proof. Like, you walk up to him, you go for the reflection, and he's going to die right away. You're not going to die. The issue with Sal is when you go for the reflect kill, you can down yourself. But for Maya, we reflect it right back, so we can't die. Yeah, it's pretty dumb. Like, if you do want to farm a North Blade, this is the way to do it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this new glitch. And, of course, if you did, then please be sure to leave a like, because that'd be awesome. And if you really enjoyed it and want to see some more Borderlands content, then be sure to drop a sub and share the video around if you want to. But, yeah, you guys have a great day. Actually, hold on. Before we end it, uh, if you guys do find a way to do it on the other characters, be sure to comment that below. I really want to find a way to do it for Axton, Infinite Metal Storm. That'd be really cool. But if not, you know, not a big deal. Uh, I've tried Nova Shields. I've tried, you know, Flame to Firehawk. I've tried Cradle. I've tried everything. But if you can find a way to do it, then yeah, let me know for sure. Anyways, have a good day and I will see you later. Peace out.